Okay, so what I want to talk about today is a feature in Bricks Forge um, to enable a GSAP smooth scroll. You can enable it with a GSAP screw smaller or with Linus. Uh, we're just going to leave it on smooth scroll for the moment. Um, and you can enable smooth scrolling on your page just by switching that on. Now, it does cause some problems that you need to be aware of, uh, and I want to talk about how I got around those problems. So, if you look at this page here, it's just a rigid scroll. As I scroll with my mouse wheel, it's just a fixed rigid scroll, which isn't very attractive. I've got a fixed header, so as I scroll, my header stays at the top there. I've also got a pop-up here, which I'm using a Bricks Extras modal for that. It works perfectly uh, without any problems at all. Now, what I'm seeing here is if I go to my uh, Bricks Forge and enable the smooth scroll, um, and then come back to my header template, go in F5, and now I've got that sort of nice, slow, smooth scrolling effect. My fixed header works, and my pop-up still works properly. Uh, the background strangely scrolls now, even though it's disabled in this uh, here, but that's not really a big issue for me. But everything works okay. So I had to do a little work to make this happen. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is the way smooth scrolling works. So let's have a look at the DOM here. And have a look at, we've got a header here, and because I've told it using a special um, data attribute um, for Bricks Forge, um, I've told it that I don't want it to be within the smooth scroll container. But if we have a look here further up, we've got a ID of smooth scroll wrapper. Inside that, we've got some content. All of our content, our main and our footer, is all sitting inside that wrapper. So as soon as you enable smooth scrolling, it wraps everything in the smooth scroll wrapper with a position set to fixed. Now, here's the problem. CSS does not have a capability of having fixed position elements within fixed position elements. So anything that you had that was fixed position will no longer work correctly when you wrap it inside the smooth wrapper. So that's the problem that we have to solve. So the Bricks Forge guys have made a little switch here. Uh, if we enable that, that should work, but it doesn't work correctly all the time. And they can't allow for every situation. So if I just do that there, see what happens there? My pop-up has come up on the screen. I can't close it. And the background disappeared. I don't even know why. I'm not even going to look at that. I've got no background and I can't close it. And that's just by enabling this switch here. Um, hit the save. Turn that off, I should say. Hit the save. Do another for uh, Control F5, and now it works properly. So by enabling this switch here, actually breaks the pop-up. So I can't use that. Uh, it'd be nice if I could, because then I don't have to worry about adding it to the fixed header, and it will just all work. So what I've done instead is uh, in the header, and by the way, I've moved my contact modal to the header, I know a lot of you might say, well, why isn't that sitting in the footer? Better for SEO. Um, the reality is if I put it in the footer, because the footer is not fixed, it doesn't work properly. It won't pull it out and display it properly. So I'll put it in the header. Very small amount of code, so it's not going to affect my SEO scores, so, uh, or you know, LCPs or whatever. So I'm not really worried about that. Um, but I have to put it in the header for this to work properly. So on the contact modal, what I've done here is I've gone into the attributes and I've added data-brf-fixed, which is what they say in the instructions here. They say to add that attribute to any fixed element um, that you want to continue to work properly when you enable smooth scroll. Now, what it technically does is it pulls it out of the uh, wrapper, so it takes it out of this wrapper, the smooth wrapper, and it sticks it as a root element on the DOM. So for example, this header, it's it's a root element on the DOM. It's not under that wrapper, the smooth scrolling wrapper anymore. So that's pretty much what that does. So the, uh, the, the modal, so this is the modal here. So by putting 
this attribute on the modal, the BricksForge code pulls that modal out and it sticks it on the root of the DOM outside of that scrolling wrapper or the scroll wrapper. Okay, now unfortunately with the header, we have no access to that. There is no settings in here that I can find. So nothing through here. Actually, that's the wrong spot. So even if we go to the top, um, this is actually a section. Um, we don't want to put it there because that's not the part that's actually uh, fixed. It's actually the entire header. Um, but through this UI, we don't have any access to attributes for what goes on with that header tag. So let's have a look here. So we've got header, which has also got the idea of bar barracks header. We have no access to that. All right. So how do I get this data BRF fixed on that header if we don't have attributes to it? If we don't have access to it through the UI? Well, the answer to that is there's a filter. So if we look in this code block I've got here, so Bricks has a filter for Bricks header attributes. They've also got one for Bricks body attributes, which is great because WordPress doesn't have that. They have the body class, but they don't have the body attributes. So this is really good if you want to add attributes to the body tag. So what I'm doing here is I've got some Jet Engine options, uh, Metabox options on the page. So I'm getting that option, which is a array of checkboxes. Uh, if it exists as an array and the uh, fixed header is, is set to true, then I'm going to add this attribute to the uh, header attributes which is what renders this here. Now, why wouldn't I just put it on there anyway? Because I'm not sure what it will do when it's not fixed. And I'm gonna quickly show you, I've been through this once before, quickly show you here. So on my pages, I've got a meta box for my jet page options with an array of check boxes. This one here is for the fixed header. So if that's ticked, basically I'm saying that if that is ticked, I wanna add that attribute to the header um, and that's pretty much all there is to it. And by doing that, it works properly. So this here now pulls out. So this page here has got a fixed header and a contact pop-up. So I can scroll, everything's working beautifully and I've got the nice smooth scroll. If I go to, say, this um, ACSS style guide page, I don't have a fixed header, but I've still got my smooth scroll. Contact still pops up in the middle and works properly. So a little bit of mucking around to get it to work properly, but it is doable. And um, if, uh, if you need any, need any of this code, you should be able to recreate this. All you need to do is find that filter for Bricks header attributes, whatever you use, Metabox, Pods, Jet Engine, whatever, uh, or whether you want to just have it as a fixed um, attribute, it's up to you. But uh, this is what I've done, so I hope that makes sense. Uh, if you like this sort of thing, hit the subscribe, hit the like. Thank you.